We now present For the Record. Just ahead, division between Wisconsin's two top Republican leaders as Democrats watch from the sidelines. I think we're seeing Republicans in complete disarray here. Plus, Madison's mayor put on President Biden's re-election advisory board, what that means. I'm so excited to be on that team and to be talking about the record of the president and why he should be re-elected. Welcome to For the Record, I'm Naomi Coles. Infighting among Wisconsin's Republican leaders this week over a highly anticipated plan unveiled in the assembly to scale up the amount of money that the state shares with municipalities. Assembly Speaker Robin Voss announcing that the plan was finished with negotiations this week and then Thursday, Senate Leader Devin Lemahieu coming out against parts of the plan the very next day. We feel like the bill that's coming forward is the result of those good faith negotiations. Uh, everybody has to take their own position, but we are done negotiating. Uh, we are not going to take changes. We are not going to change the bill substantially. What we have before us is the deal that we are going to send to our colleagues in the state Senate, and hopefully Governor Evers agrees that this historic investment is worth signing. I know he wanted a, f a final bill, and we talked about if, if there were still negotiations to be done that um, we could make some changes in the in the Senate and send it bounce it back to him, um, but I had no idea that a line was going to be drawn in the sand yesterday afternoon. Our work is not complete. Right now, we are talking about one of the most consequential bills that we will hear all session. It's not the solution to our challenges that people in Wisconsin deserve. And to some, it might be a fiscal band-aid, but it comes with unnecessary and damaging strings attached for many communities. All of this has left an unusual alliance. Democratic Governor Tony Evers publicly siding with Republican leader Devin Lemahieu. I'm joined to talk all the, about all of this. Madison State Representative Lisa Subek, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having me. Uh, let's tackle this first, this alliance between the governor and Senator Lemahieu. This is not a headline I expected yesterday. What's your reaction? Sure, you know, there's been ongoing negotiations over a period of weeks, maybe even going into months around shared revenue. And most of the players or most of the folks on both sides of the aisle have been at the table. You know, there's broad agreement um, among both parties that our cities and villages and towns need help. And shared revenue is the way to get them that help. Um, Republicans set up this scenario after years of starving our local communities for revenue, and now we've got to fix it. Um, unfortunately, this week, um, Speaker Voss decided he had set an arbitrary deadline to simply be done, and he decided that he was going to ram through a bill that had not reached broad agreement, um, essentially throwing away weeks or months worth, worth of negotiations. I am actually reassured to hear that Senator Lemahieu is interested in continu continuing this process. I mean, I think we're seeing Republicans in complete disarray here. They're fighting just like they were um, last session around, you know, where the election results are real and things like that. Um, Republicans don't seem to be able to come together on much. And I am hopeful, though, that when the Senate presents um, a hopefully a more reasonable option, that we're able to make some headway and that Speaker Voss might come back to the table at that, at that point. He um, is saying that he's taking his ball and going home, but I don't think the people of Wisconsin will be happy to hear that, and I think that hopefully that will bring him back to the table. You know, a lot of this uh, is hanging up on this one requirement, particularly for Milwaukee, that there be a referendum or not before they can raise sales tax. So I don't necessarily want to talk about Milwaukee a ton. You're from Madison. We're from Madison. This is a mm -hmm. Madison TV station. Let's talk a little bit about what Voss's version of the plan would do for Madison. Sure. So Voss's version of the plan... Um, does help and harm Madison, right? There are pieces of it we would get more shared revenue than we do now. But similarly to our mid-sized cities across the state, um, they, we, we, choose, we choose winners and losers in this plan. And in Voss's plan, our mid-sized cities really suffer. They get a very small bump in, small, in shared revenue, some of them as low as 10%, while other smaller communities are getting 200, 300% increase 
increases, um, you know, many fold of what they currently receive now. We need a more balanced formula. And Madison would do better under a more balanced formula. Democrats presented a plan on the floor of the assembly that would have done just that. We took out all the policy items that um, Voss has sort of, I, th I see them as policy giveaways. There's a number of things in this bill, whether it's not allowing, not allowing hiring of um, diversity, equity, and inclusion staff, whether it is not allowing advisory referendums, all sorts of things that you know, look like they're they're geared toward taking away the ability of our local governments to make their own decisions. But in reality, what I think they are is they're giveaways to all sorts of legislators. He needed to get folks in his caucus on board. And so he kind of took the, you know, you get a car kind of model from the Oprah show of, you know, you get this pet issue, you get that pet issue. We said, let's get rid of that. Let's take that out. We put forth an amendment that was a nice, clean formula that better balanced um, the town still recognized recognizing the struggles that they have still fared very well under our plan, but also said, hey, mid-sized cities, cities like La Crosse, Eau Claire, Green Bay, even Madison, um, are sort of have been chosen to be the losers under Voss's plan, not surprisingly. That's, that's, he doesn't care about our cities. So Senator Lemahue is saying that he wants to take Voss's plan and remove this requirement that Milwaukee has to go to referendum before increasing their sales tax. If that's the only change that were to happen in the Senate, and he makes that change, that bill comes back to the assembly in that fashion. Would you vote yes on that version? I would say that's a huge step forward. There are other changes that I am still hopeful that we could make before this gets back to the assembly. All right, thank you so much, Representative, for coming on the show. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right, we will be right back.